All right, guys, welcome back to the Engineering Crucible, problem 426. All right, so we're going to keep going with replacing um, <clears throat> the loading system by an equivalent resultant force in a couple more minutes, specific point. On this diagram, we're going to be replacing the resultant and couple moment at point A. Point A right here, and highlighted in red over here. Okay, so in order to do that, first we need to calculate the resultant force. Okay, to calculate the resultant force, we need to calculate the two components of that force. So we need FRX and FRY. Okay, so that's going to be the summation of all the forces in the X, summation of all the forces in the Y. <clears throat> Usually, uh, once you're doing more, you know, once you're applying the Newton's second law, I usually write it like this, uh, you know, it's, but right now we're not really working with that yet, with saying that the body is in static equilibrium, which is, which it is, but <clears throat> we're just calculating the resultant forces. Okay. So they don't necessarily add up to zero unless we take into account the reactions at A and B. So let's just see which forces act in the x direction. Okay, this 40 newton force, no. 30 newton force, no. Uh, okay, let's look at this force over here. This 50 newton force is going to the right and down. Okay, since since it's going to the right, it's going to be a positive x component of that force. Okay, that's the x component, and the y component is going down. Okay, so this plus the x component give you that result of 50 newtons. Okay, but because it's at an angle, we have, we know we have to split it into x and y. So it's going to be 50, and then I'm going to look at the triangle, the 3, 4, 5 triangle they give me, and the side that's parallel to the x axis is the 4, so it's going to be 4 fifths. which that gives you 40 newtons, okay? So that's a resultant force in the x direction. Now in the y direction, I have minus 40, and uh, I've said it in the, in the previous video, I usually say this is x and this is y, okay? So positive, going up is positive, going to the right is positive. Wow, I can't do the, x, the y axis. And also my moment, if it's counterclockwise, is positive. All right, so going back here, FRY. So minus 40, minus 30, and then minus, let's see, minus this component of the force, FR. So FY over here, which is going to be minus 50. So minus 50. And then which side is parallel to the y-axis? It's going to be that 3. So it's going to be 3 fifths. All right. So this is minus 40, minus 30, minus 30. That's minus 100 newtons. OK. <clears throat> so now let's take care of that. Let's draw. Let's draw it on the at point A. I'm gonna replace it with. Uh, let's see. It's going to be. Let's let's um. Let's erase the forces, okay? Because now they're not there anymore. I'm gonna replace them with. Let's pretend they're not there anymore, actually. <clears throat> well, okay, I'm not gonna erase them because we're gonna need them, but let's pretend they're not there, okay? And now we're just gonna put the negative 100 here. So I have minus 100 newtons, okay? And then 40 newtons in this direction. 
Okay. <clears throat> so what's that? The resultant force is going to be going So it's going to be <clears throat> this is the minus four. This is a forty. Let's get a different color. So the resultant force is going to be something like this. Okay, what I drew in blue. That's the resultant force at A. Okay, but now we got to replace it with a the uh, couple moments. So now let's look at that. So we're gonna have to say we're gonna have to sum all the moments about a. Okay. So first, let's start with this the the, the moment that they give us already, which is 200 newton meters, and it's going clockwise. So it's gonna be minus 200. That's already an added moment. Uh, okay. Then let's start with the forces. So. Does the 40 newton force contribute any uh, torque on A? The answer is no, because it's just pushing on A. So it's not trying to make it rotate about A. Okay. So And also the line of action, if you think about it like that, the line of action intersects point A. Okay. So that contributes zero torque. I still got 30 newtons. 30 newtons, if I, pu if I push down on this side, it wants to make the structure rotate in this direction in a clockwise direction. So that's going to be negative force times the distance, perpendicular distance from the pivot point to the, third, the force, and that's going to be three, three meters. Now let's look at the x component of this 50 newton force that I broke down into two components. The x component, again, it's just pulling on A, okay? So draw, extend the line of action of it, and you're going to see that it intersects A, right? So if, you, if you're pulling on A, you're not trying to make it rotate, okay? So that contributes zero torque. And finally, we have this Y force, okay? The, uh, the, we said that this was going to equal to 30 newtons, okay? And now this force times distance of uh, 6 meters contributes a torque in the negative direction as well, clockwise direction. So force times the distance, which was six. So that's minus 200, minus 90, minus 180. Right, minus 180, yeah, that's right. All right, so let's see, this is two, this is gonna be minus 470 Newton meter. All right. Or like we've done it in the past 470 Newton meter in this direction clockwise. Okay? That's MR A. And now one more thing we have to do is find the angle that the resultant makes. Okay, so that's going to be inverse tan. Whenever they ask you magnitude and direction, you have to do both. So we found um, the components here. Uh, actually, we need to do the magnitude as well. So fr is going to be 40 squared plus 100 squared. And then here, I'm going to over 40 okay so let's see what this equals just pretty much with these three things that we have everything okay so inverse tan of minus 100 divided by 40 I get a minus 68 okay 68 degrees and then the resultant is 40 squared plus 100 squared. Like that. That's 107.7. Okay. So now let's look at the new structure. Okay. This is our new structure. Right. Let's get the roller halfway through. 
at the hinge over here. Let's pretend that that hits the ground. Okay. And now I've replaced every force and every moment in here with a, a resultant force like this of 107. 0.7 newtons, all right, with a couple moments that's going like this of 470 newton meters. Okay, so you see that we didn't draw any of the other forces already. We've just grouped them up into one thing and placed them on it. Okay. <clears throat> now let's see um, oh yeah and then we know that the angle here that the force makes is going to be so we have a negative 68 degrees roughly all right so it's going it's a measured clockwise so usually when you measure things clockwise it's negative <clears throat> And yeah, and that's it. All right, guys. Um, so <clears throat> your what we did here, we replaced you know the the loading system on this beam by an equivalent by an equivalent force and couple moment acting at a specific point. All right, and then I just drew a little diagram to see what you know what it should look like afterwards. All right, guys, if you have questions or concerns or comments, just let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more of these uh, tutorials and videos on how to do all things statics. Take it easy.